Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is just some updates on the guinea pig herd and some general guinea pig chat and hopefully some cute footage of the girls, although they're not doing anything much at the minute. It's exactly the type of rambling video that I like to put on whilst I'm cleaning out the piggies, so if you want to do something similar then please feel free. I also thought that subscribers might appreciate an update on the piggies and how we're all doing after recent events. So yeah, it's not been a great start to 2021 for us. As I'm sure a lot of you will know, we've had health problems with Lyra and then unfortunately we lost Willow just a couple of weeks ago. And I just wanted to start off really by saying a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who commented on that video, Willow's tribute video and Willow's message. It really did mean so much to me. I know I've not replied to many of the comments, but trust me, I have read every single one of them and all of your lovely kind words meant so much to me. I was really overwhelmed by just the positive response to that video in general as well, because it was more than just a tribute really. It was sort of reaching out to anyone Anyone who's lost a guinea pig or another pet recently, the kind of grieving process that can happen and just some small suggestions of things that might help as well. So um, thank you so much again to everyone who commented, especially those people who shared their own personal feelings and experiences. Okay, so on to the piggies. Well, um, we've had some ups and downs with Lyra's health still, which I'll get onto in a bit, but in general, the piggies have been okay after Willow's passing. It's always really hard to predict what's going to happen, um, not only with them kind of reacting, but also dynamics in the herd, dominance things, whether things like that will change. So yeah, I have seen some interesting behaviours and kind of new relationships starting to develop between the girls. Something nice that I've seen also is Lyra getting to know the other two piggies a little bit better and sort of more of a friendship and a bond growing between them two. So quite a few times over the last couple of weeks when I've walked in the room I have found Lyra hanging out with either Phoebe or Roxy under this wooden arch Heidi. Now this is something I never saw before and if you own guinea pigs you'll know that although they're really sociable animals they do like their own space. So to see them snuggling up together especially on a morning where they've probably been there for a couple of hours before I came into the room is really nice. I'd sort of like to think of it as the young ones comforting Lyra because she did have such a close bond with Willow closer than any other guinea pigs I've ever owned and I really thought they had a special connection and obviously Lyra doesn't have that anymore but hopefully with spending more time with the younger ones she'll get at least some of that back from them. The younger two on the other hand continue to not get along with each other. <laughs> Now it's not something I'm worried about but it is something that I've seen as they've grown and it's not changed. They often make sort of whining, I'm annoyed at you before you even got close to me noises and they will also sometimes do mini lunges or mini jabs at each other. Again just to say I don't particularly like your company and you're annoying. <laughs> It's obviously a bit of a shame, but you never know, as they become more chilled out, as they get a bit older, maybe this will change as well. And whilst Lyra is still the boss overall at the minute, I do suspect that this might change in the near future. Phoebe is second in command, she is quite a bolshy character sometimes, and Lyra has sort of not been telling her off to the same level recently, and I suspect maybe that Lyra might be handing over the reins to Phoebe. <laughs> Now I've also got some health updates with Lyra here. So around the time that we lost Willow, I noticed that Lyra was losing weight and she did lose about 80 grams in the space of a week. If you see that kind of weight loss in your guinea pigs, it's not something to be ignored. And I was really, oh, we'd had such a stressful time lately. I knew I was gonna have to take her back to the vets. And just after losing Willow, I didn't feel like going back to the exotics vets that I'd been seeing. 
and I started researching whether there was more of a specialist guinea pig vet that we could visit and in the end we decided to travel to go and see the guinea pig vet. <laughs> yes, there is a vet in the UK with that name and I was so relieved when I found their page and even though they were a distance from us, it's not an unreasonable distance to travel, it's about two hours and I know, for example, from watching Scotty's Animals and people in America, some people travel a long, long way, much further sometimes, to get good help for their piggies. And as she was losing weight, she wasn't eating quite as well as she should have been. I really didn't have a clue what it might be. And another thing I was super relieved at was that I was able to book Lyra a longer appointment from the very beginning. I really don't like this whole process of consultations and then you have to wait until they've got a free slot to do a full workup, which might include things that you're not necessarily happy with happening to your guinea pig, like bloods where they put them under anaesthetic, for example. So I was able to book Lyra in for a conscious dental if she needed it and an x-ray if the vet thought she needed it. And I could go and all that was done on that day which was just a, a miracle in itself, really. It does mean such a lot to find a good vet. And Lyra did have a conscious dental. Um, it's very rare for vets to carry out a, a dental on the molars with the guinea pig still conscious, but some vets will do it. So if you're in the UK and you're wondering about that, it's definitely possible. Now, Lyra's teeth weren't bad at all. She just had one tiny spur filed down on one side. So the vet said she doesn't expect her to need any other regular dental work doing, which was a bit of a relief. What the vet did say though, is that Lyra had some pain with her temporomandibular joint, which <laughs> is a bit of a mouthful. And I just had to Google how to say it. <laughs> so this joint, the TMJ, I'm gonna call it, <laughs> is at the back of the mouth. It's like the jaw hinge, essentially. And as you can imagine, guinea pigs are constantly using that joint. And especially as they get older, it can have problems. So it might get painful for them. They might get a bit of arthritis in it. And because it's so essential to eating, it can lead to other health problems. If that area is painful, your guinea pig might not be eating as much as they should be. They might be sitting in one place more because they're sort of in pain. And then you can get other health problems as a result of that. So it's something that I wasn't really aware of, but it makes complete sense. So Lyra basically got given anti-inflammatories. She got a type of antibiotic that works in the digestive system in case there's an imbalance with the bacteria in her, her digestive system because she sort of continued to have the soft poops. And she is also on a gut stimulant at the minute, which is the Cisapride to help keep her guts moving. Fortunately, her weight has increased and we are going to monitor her when she comes off the medication. Although I suspect that if there is going to be some pain in that joint in her jaw, then Lyra might have to stay on Metacam, which is the painkiller and the anti-inflammatory for a longer period of time, which fortunately guinea pigs can cope with quite well. And especially with senior piggies who might say get arthritis anywhere in their body, it's not unusual for them to be on daily Metacam to help them manage that condition and be more pain free. It's basically like when us humans start getting on a bit, we often start taking some medications all of the time. I know a couple of people had requested it going back, so if you would like to see a video on specifically on senior piggies and what kind of things to be aware of, then that's something I can definitely make. <laughs> Have you stopped now? <laughs> so one thing that I was going to say is that Lyra hasn't been having fresh food lately because <laughs> of her funny tummy and the slightly sloppy poos that we've been seeing. <laughs> she can, however... <laughs> I know, I know, sweetheart. 
However, she can have grass, so we're going to give her some fresh grass, or give them all some fresh grass, and then tomorrow I will be monitoring Lyra's output <laughs> to see whether it affects her digestion or not. Grass is obviously starting to grow, seeing as we are just at the beginning of the spring, really. Uh, not quite yet, but almost. So I am really looking forward to not only better weather in general, but the guinea pigs having some fresh grass and fresh forage from the garden. Are you doing happy rumbling, Lyra? I love it when they do that sort of greedy, yes, I've got food. <laughs> Willow used to do that all the time. Oh, you're doing it as well now, are you? Now, I know a question which might be on a lot of people's minds watching this, and that is whether I will get another guinea pig to bring the herd up to four again. And uh, to be honest, uh, it's not something that I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, it might be in time. These three seem to be getting on well as a trio at the moment, so we'll just see how things go. And it might be that I rescue a piggy. I know Willow was a rescue, so it would be nice to honour her in that way but yeah it really does depend um we'll just see how things go so I don't have a definite answer on that one yet but I wanted to mention it because I know it's one thing that everyone sort of wonders afterwards and probably some of you watching this will be wondering so yeah <laughs> we just not sure yet basically. So I think that's a good point to leave this little video and just to say a huge thank you again to all my subscribers and everyone who watches my videos. It really has amazed me how coming back to YouTube after a three year break I've still had people comment and say that they used to watch my videos and they're happy that I'm back um, things like that really do mean a lot and yeah it's really nice to know that we've still got people who are learning and educating themselves from our videos and to anyone who is getting new piggies in the future or planning for them then it's really exciting and I'm so happy for you. Um, they are really amazing pets. I cannot stress how much I absolutely adore them to pieces and I'm sure you will too. We'll be back with some of our more usual content in the near future so do keep a look out for that. I've always got tons of video ideas and there's lots of exciting stuff that I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned and we will be back very soon. That's all from us for now. Bye bye.